Hello, everybody. I'm Brian. And I'm Brian. And this is Brian vs. Brian, episode 161. Demolition Man. I was going to see if it was the. No, it's Demolition Man. No the back then. Uh, Wesley Snipes, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, who's it? Directed by Marco Brambilla. He hadn't done much. Yeah, I don't he recognize like, the name at all. He did like three movies. Hold on. Let me bring him up right here. Filmography. God darn it. What is all this? Uh, Demolition Man, 1993. Excess Baggage, 1997. Oh, wow. And Destricted, 2006. Uh, huh. So, there's that. Who is this written by? Peter Lenkov, Robert Renu. Screenplay, Daniel Waters, Robert Renu. Hmm. Came out October 8th, 1993. Oh, and one of those 1993 bangers, dude. Mm-hmm. 1993, man. Uh, budget 45 to 77 million. Box office 159. That's pretty good. Um, mixed reviews. Earned 159 million worldwide and was considered a successful film for Stallone. Not crazy, but successful. Um, I think this is probably absolutely near the top of my favorite. Stallone flicks. I mean, it's right, no Rocky. Right. Yeah, it's no yeah. Rocky. But other than Rocky, I'm not a, a huge fan of the stuff he does. Yeah, I, I'm looking through his IMDb. My first thought was uh, Rocky, and then I went to First Blood. The first Rambo movie is really fucking good. Um, yeah, but this one's yeah, I would say it's up there for sure. Yeah, it was just surprising. You think it's going to be this? Uh, sci-fi 90s stupid romp like they they do a lot of these like just tango weird... and cash fucking stallone and Kurt that, that movie was pretty fun i will give him that i don't That's think it's as good as demolition good. man but <laughs> but uh, all those big uh muscle guys kind of did one of these like arnold you could say total recall arnold you could say terminator he did a couple of them but they do these like science fiction pieces like uh what the heck is his name? Van Damme. Van Damme did, did a couple time, time, time cop. cop. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so they all kind of got one that they're doing. And uh, Universal Soldier. And they're pretty cool, man. They always they turn out pretty fun. These future action movies. So this one is uh starts out this fucking old building. I think there's like some helicopters, some kind of questionable CGI stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, the, the Hollywood signs on fire. <laughs> fucking Los Angeles, 1996. <laughs> like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> shit. Shit's gotten uh, rough. Mm -hmm. I think the crow starts the same way. Like Los, like Los Angeles is on fire and the crow, like 1990, whatever. We're the people, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? Oh, come on, John. Gotta have a little fun first. <laughs> Because uh, what is it, like a bus full of people he hijacked? I watched it a couple days ago. Yeah, he uh, he kidnaps a bunch of people from a bus or something and, and keeping them hostage at this, <laughs> this abandoned warehouse or building. Yeah, it's a giant building. And uh, Stallone goes in there with the, the classic 90s wire from a helicopter into the window. <laughs> Yeah, he like bungee jumps. He doesn't even like lower slowly. He like jumps out like he's bungee oh, jumping. He bungee? There's like <laughs> no tension. <laughs> it's like, is that necessary? I love it. Yeah, and he's like, where are the hostages? And then uh, Simon Phoenix ends up blowing up the building after they're out. Like he gets Simon into custody. Where were the hostages? I don't, he must have kept them off site. They weren't in there. John. We get readings from the basement or something like that. Yeah, yeah. there's bodies everywhere. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and I think one of the the cops, uh, the younger version of that one guy or something, was like, "Oh, this could be bad for you, John. <laughs> like it's like yeah. his fault. It wasn't <laughs> my fault, man. I'm the only damn cop here." Of yeah. the one cop responsible for finding, infiltrating. He didn't send a SWAT team. It's like, if those hostages die, it's on fucking you and you're a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of extreme. Fucking, what, 40 years in, in cryo sleep or whatever? Like, goddamn. He had a 70 year sentence, though. Mm. 
I watched the trailer. <laughs> Wrongfully. <laughs> <laughs> wrongfully done in 70 years cryo sentence Jesus <laughs> and then it's talk about Simon Phoenix and it's like in a bad time he was the worst the black guy talking about him yeah he's from the 20th oh yeah I love that guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just shows up for exposition when they need him yeah, he's always yeah. in the background oh yeah I knew John I also knew <laughs> Simon <laughs> he's like Oh, you should like run some, with the both of them. Yeah, someone would ask a question, and then they would cut to him, and he he's like in the background. He slides in. I knew John. Yeah, that's what they did in the twentieth. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm the audience's connection to the future and the past. I love it. <laughs> friendly, a friendly black man to explain it all. <laughs> I could have been uh, like it's like the Allstate guy. You got a yeah. soothing voice <laughs> to help you into the future. Oh God, Morgan Freeman. Who was that guy? Who plays him? Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember his name, so I can't find who he was. <laughs> but, he had, but he had a younger version, so it must be, what is it, Lamb? Is that who it is? Lamb. Hmm, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> He's a pretty funny character. Oh, and another shout-out to a great character is, uh, what the hell's his name? Uh, You Can Do It. Oh, Rob Schneider? Yeah, Rob Schneider is the little officer Irwin. I love that. He's like, we're not a, uh, we're, we're trained police officers. We're not trained to handle this and, kind of uh, violence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so they get frozen. And I always loved these scenes as a kid of the frozen. Yeah. It's a fucking, this is exactly what uh, Austin Powers makes fun of mm -hmm. later. And I, and I loved this movie. So, and I loved Austin Powers at the time. So I just got it. Yeah, the yeah. Warm liquid goo face and all that. <laughs> uh, so, like, they put him in there, and it looks really cool. It's all just like everything's chrome, cryo facility, and they drop him in this like giant hockey puck. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and it closes all clear acrylic, of course. You could see them in there for mm -hmm. some reason. You need to see them. And then it fills with like goop. <laughs> Starts filling with goop. I used to, as a kid, I'd be in the tub, and I pretend the top of the tub was like that, like mm. the lid, mm -hmm. and then I just let the tub fill, and then I'd be like this. <laughs> there's no wall, but I'm like pretending there's a wall, and I'm like getting filled with goo, and then I'd imagine I'd imagine the little blue thing dropping in, and I <laughs> freeze up, <laughs> and then I drain the tub and sit there, and oh god, oh god. <laughs> Your mom walks Fall in like, out. what the fuck are you? Oh, he's dying. He's dead. <laughs> so, yeah. And then they have that cool, yeah, the blue thing drops in. And this is all during like the credits, that intro. And then it's yeah. all having like cool. It's one of those ones like like Terminator. It's got really cool graphics for the fucking, I don't know what they call that. It's just the art of the, the words, the tiles. And the, it's a, oh, that's just a long yeah. It's freezing him and it's showing him all frozen and it's it's showing some time passing stuff. Um and then I forget where we're first introduced to the future. Isn't it that guy who's the Dr. Raymond Cotier? Cock two? Yeah, I think and it's the guy who's holding the parole hearings, I think, is how we're introduced. And then the yeah, yeah, it has to be, right? Because she gets a call, or uh, Sandra Bullock's character gets a call in the car um, about it, I think. I think that's how that connects. Salutations, how are you? <laughs> I forget what they say. <laughs> yes, happy greetings to you. Uh, <laughs> Lenina Huxley <laughs> smiles. <laughs> Some other <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good, the kind of the future world building and uh, vocabulary stuff they do. Oh, yeah, totally. There's so many good gags in this movie. I forgot how many yeah. good gags there are. And, and then, anyways, basically, we have uh, this uh, guy who's trying to run the show. What the hell was his name? That's not the doctor, is it? That's Is that Raymond? The main, like, I don't even know. Yeah, what Raymond Cocktu, I think, is the the president, I guess, of. Yeah, he's kind of like a mayor. I don't know. Yeah. What the deal is. <clears throat> He's a big shot, big wig. He's tyrant, yeah. And he's trying to run the city. 
and there's this um, underground graffiti artist named Edgar mm-hmm. Friendly, and so he's got he's got little robots that pop up <laughs> out of the, like sprinklers <laughs> and spray shit yeah. like food should be free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. And then <laughs> seconds later, the the wall just. Uh, is a future wall, so it electronically takes it out. But this guy is pissed that for three seconds, this motherfucker has the nerve to fucking graffiti a wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? So, what are you so pissed uh, about, dude? This guy's gonna ruin me. Yeah. <laughs> oh Living in the sewers and shit. And that guy is a uh, Edgar Friendly, played by Dennis Leary. And Dennis Leary doesn't do a lot of shit. He hasn't been in a lot of shit, uh, as far as I know, other than Rescue Me. And uh, it's great. He's just Dennis Leary, though. I think that's yeah, why yeah. he didn't get a lot of roles because he's he, you know he's one of those guys. He's Dennis Leary. It's like, yeah, we're gonna fucking live underground. We're gonna fucking have to get fucked in the ass by the government. He wants to take my money. I want to eat a big fucking steak and the soup <laughs> and fit and shit. And if I want to do that, <laughs> you know, it's just it's just fucking uh, Dennis Leary. Angry yeah, for those, for those who don't know, Dennis Leary is popular in the 90s. Stand-up comedian, but his whole shtick was he would go on these fucking ridiculous tirades. Uh, that's what he was kind of famous for. That was I really funny, like tirades. Stand-up back then. Yeah. And this movie was like on HBO back in the day. And like his all his specials were on HBO back in the day. I remember one. It was like, I don't want to go to the, the restaurant. It's called Pate. It's got a little fucking shit over the E. No, I'm a fucking American. It's called Pate. If I want to <laughs> order Pate. I'll eat me some paint, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if I want all my damn arteries clogged with cholesterol from a giant fucking steak, I'll do it, okay? <laughs> and I'll have a giant whiskey to wash it down. Oh and I'm going to smoke at the table, and none of you are going to fucking stop me. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's that same stand up where it's got the, I'm an asshole. He's an yeah, asshole. the song. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Anyways. Yeah. I, He's like a freedom fighter. He's he's stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. He's like stealing food from Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Taco Bell is the only uh franchise left. Of course, we all know that. The franchise wars. Of franchise the wars, 20s. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with their with their uh their secret weapon, the Baja Blast. <laughs> they were able to win. <laughs> so he devises his plan, the doctor, to get this uh, old school criminal out of cryo sleep, and that's to kill because no one knows how to kill anymore. There hasn't been a right. What they say there hasn't been a murder. Like Fifteen in over, years or something. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't had a murder death kill in over <laughs> twelve parsecs. <laughs> <laughs> and so they get him out, and he's at the. Oh, he's at the. Uh, oh, it's great. He's at the like parole hearing, right? And it's like he's he's unthawed. Wesley Snipes, and the chair goes up. It's like holding him there, <laughs> and it's like, "Are you uh, Simon Phoenix? Is that your name?" <laughs> he's like speaking Spanish. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> translating everything he's saying. Yeah, like English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh. I don't remember what he says. He says some goofy one liner when he he's unlocked. It's like uh Welcome back. I don't know. He fucking fucks the guy up, he gets out of his chair. I think he, he stabs the guy, cuts his eye out, puts the eye up to the scanner thing, gets out. And then he's uh he's walking around, right? He goes to the Oh, he goes to like a phone. They still have pay phones <laughs> back in this future. They didn't yeah. think that far ahead. It was like a video pay phone. And what was he doing? He like, oh shit, I know how to hack. Oh yeah, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, what the hell? Yeah, it's weird because in the in the at his parole hearing, he says a word yeah, yeah. and then locks it. And you're like, what the fuck is that? You don't really think much of it. You're like, okay. And then one of the guards is like, how did you know the unlock word or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah when he gets to the to the kiosk thing he's like oh i can hack so it's kind of like these weird little breadcrumbs oh, are being laid out. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> and uh he's like um he hacks it and then he's like looking up stuff about the future Ooh, what has happened in the future oh what can i get myself a gun and it's like gun noun or some shit 
rudimentary firearm used during the 20th century. Guns have been outlawed. It's like, what the hell? And he's like, well, where can I get one? A museum. A fucking museum. <laughs> so I think that's about all he does there is he's trying to get a gun. Yeah, they. Well, I love the scene too because the um, the murder, death, kill start ringing at the police station at the, from the cryo place, and everyone's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> I love that shit. That's the Rob Snyder thing. We're not equipped for this. And then so they dispatch like, oh, we got this. They dispatch like three officers to the to the little kiosk, and then like the the main cop has this like AI device and is telling him how to like handle the situation. Well, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Tell the guy to lay down, lay down flat and put his hands behind his back. And he like says it, and Wesley's like, fuck off. And he said he didn't listen to me. Yeah. Be assertive. <laughs> Do it now. Yeah, and, and, and end it with, uh, say it louder, and end it with, or else. And he's like, oh, and then he does the thing, and then Wesley Snipes like gives him that look. So yeah, he beats, beats else, their well. ass. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. It's like a Black Yeah, the soundtrack is weird. <laughs> and it's like, just do back kicks and shit, and kind of <laughs> dancing when he does it. It's whooping their ass. And then, yeah, and back at the cop station, he's like, whoop, whoop, MDK. Whoop, whoop. What's an MDK code? Oh, of course, we have the... Uh, the black guy giving all the 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 information. Yeah, yeah. That's a murder death kill. <laughs> <laughs> Send it from the back of the station. Uh, oh yeah, one eight seven. One eight seven. What what's one eight seven? We all know fucking one eight seven is, but uh yeah, murder death kill. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then um at that point, do they? I don't know what happens. Yeah, I think they because decide... he he like took care of those co- and like blew up a car, that kind of like, and then they go to Huxley's, you know, twentieth century decorated room with a beautiful Lethal Weapon three poster. You can't miss. Um, that's when I think they're talking about how the fuck are we going to stop this guy? And then the the old the older black guy comes in. And he's like, "Well, John, who? How did they even catch him in the in the twentieth century? Well, no, there was a cop. Well." In a time of bad men, he was the worst. <laughs> there was only one man that ever took him in. John Spartan. <laughs> yeah, John Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love it. Halo shit. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's like, we can't let him out. He's a murderer. Uh, anyways, they unthaw him. And then we have the warm liquid goo phase. It's in the thing, and they're draining out the the goop. <laughs> oh, well, what am I, what am I doing here? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, now listen here, John Spartan. I think you're an animal. I didn't want you here, okay? And as soon as you help us, you're going right back in the ice you came from. Hey, listen, pal. Hey, that has to be thought <laughs> out. <laughs> What's uh. this fucking problem, man? <laughs> There's fucking a lot of weird shit like that. <clears throat> Then, I love it too. Uh, She's like, uh, so it's the, the year's 2032. You've, you know, been in cryo. And then he immediately is like, how long have I been in here? It's like, oh, okay, so you, you forgot how to do math. All right. Well, you've been here for 26 years, even though I just told you how long you've been in there. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, look, I've never been good, very good at numbers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I didn't know the 30 people were in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we so, find out his some... wife died in some earthquake, so he doesn't have a his wife his pad. But they kind of like scoot past that real quick. Like, yeah, she died. Or right, whatever. Stick to the matter at hand. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, listen, everything I have is gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, this is a uh... Sandra Bullock's a pretty funny character. She's all obsessed with the '90s and shit. So we're gonna. Take some names and, or kick some names and take some ass. No, yeah, hold on, like hold that. on. <laughs> kick some asses, take some names. Okay. Um. So I don't remember the first encounter, but anyways, we we do have the like museum part. Yeah, they like they, they like, take him back to the precinct, and that's when he gets dressed up. This is where we get the three seashells. This is where he starts like cussing. Oh, so and the we things. get the verbal morality statue. Yeah, and then they're like <laughs> in the room, and the the chief is saying like, "Oh, he's gonna, 
you know, his plan is to start a gang and, and do this and start selling things. And Spartan's like, you don't fucking know shit. He's going for it. The only thing he's looking for is a gun. Look, the only <laughs> thing he's doing is he's looking for a gun. <laughs> so wherever the gun is, that's where it's going to be. Look, he doesn't care about no plan. This guy cares about one thing, killing. <laughs> Listen so to me. Good. And then, uh, yeah, I love the verbal morality statute. It's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, shit? so good. You have been fined six credits by the verbal morality statute. Oh, fuck this. You've been fined 12 credits by the. Oh, shit. You've been fined 12. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, what I love about that. I mean, it's a funny gag just as it is, but I love the, how that gag runs throughout the entire movie and they never bring attention to it. It just always happens in the back. You always hear the sound in the background. <laughs> yeah, like it's just in the background of scenes every time. I, I love that. It's so good. No, they don't pay attention to it. It's just so funny. Yeah, you know, it'll be like Taco Bell and he's like, fucking Taco Bell. And he'll like casually, as they're walking in the hallway of Taco Bell, like grab it, the ticket out the fucking little mm -hmm. thing. It reminds me of those little, remember the little red ticket things like at the, the grocery store that used to spit out a coupon? Oh, yeah, yeah. It'd just be hanging there. You could grab it. Reminds me of those. And uh, that's a really funny uh, recurring gra gag. And then he's like, hey, uh, you know, I went to go, you know, take a shit in there. <laughs> and, uh, there's no toilet paper. There's no what? Toilet paper. <laughs> the guy's like, what the? <laughs> toilet paper. And then I think it's Huxley, right? She's Huxley, like, oh, yeah. In the 20th, they would use wadded up clumps of paper to dispose of the something on their back on their backside. <laughs> they all laughing. start laughing. <laughs> so good. <laughs> What's uh, yeah, yeah. What is so funny? Instead of the to toilet paper, there's just a little shelf with three little seashells. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> and then he like gives him a fucking like he's gonna beat his ass. Oh, I can see how I could I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> and they never explain to us. It's just this ongoing, and there's been fan theories running rampant. People come up with how the three seashells work. And you can, like, buy that shelf with three seashells for your bathroom. That's funny. You can install it next to your toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know how it works, man, but somehow it wipes your ass. Uh, Yeah, and that's a pretty cool scene at the fucking uh, museum, man, with all the cool old stuff and just blowing <laughs> shit up, glass cases, and they... They fall through glass into like an underground, undisturbed part of the 20th century. It's got like a fucking, mm. you know, a muscle car and a storefront. And, hey, why'd they let you back, John? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many cool, like, uh, you go into the museum, there's huge letters that say Hall of Violence, and all the O's have a cross, like Doom. Like, that's what it reminded me of the Doom, like yeah. Hall of Violence. Um, we were laughing. So, I, you said that you watched a couple days. I don't know if you remember this, but, um, uh we watched this last night but there's a, a very quick scene we were laughing so hard it like the uh the scene is like an establishing shot of one of the rooms and there's i don't know if it's a guard or just an employee and he's standing there next to the glass and he's facing the other way you just see the, the back of him and out of nowhere wesley snipes comes into frame grabs him slams his body into the glass and just walks away <laughs> i was like i just thought that was the funniest fucking thing it was just so random did he say, did, did he say nothing yeah, I don't think he said anything. He just like, slams him and walks I, away. I almost remember, I almost remember something like, get out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> it was so Nerd funny. or something like that. <laughs> you oh, nerd. God, it was so good. Uh, oh, yeah, there's one point, I don't remember what it was either. It's like, it like someone at a, like a glass kiosk for tickets or something. I can't, I can't hear you. Like, what's he snipes and he comes up and he just <laughs> slams him into the front of the fucking glass. <laughs> And anyways, he's like, ah, trying to find a gun. And then he's like, oh, what the hell is this? And he finds like a future gun, like the mag gun invented in the, and he gets it out and it's like, and then I think he shoots it at John and like fucking flips a car. Oh, shit. Yeah. I like this. Yeah, I love it when oh, he first gets it because the, the AI and the, I don't know if it's the AI from the building or, or if it's the gun. I don't think it's the AI from the building, but it's like, 
this thing is not charged. You need to wait for it. And he's like, charge? This thing, this thing needs fucking batteries? Is there a like radio shack? I'm like, where's the radio shack? <laughs> or AAA? What? It was like waiting the whole time for it to charge, and isn't finally the, it isn't does. The, isn't the storefront a radio shack? Like the underground remember. one? I think oh, it, it could be. be. Yeah, yeah, I think it might be. <laughs> I think it might be. Um, I miss Radio Shack. They went out of business because you never shopped there. But when yeah. you needed that one specific ass thing mm-hmm. that you weren't going to find anywhere, they had it. That was the place. I'd go, yeah. in, I'd go, I'd go in there like once every three months and pick up one very cheap, specific thing. And then I'd hope they'd stay in business. So it's my <laughs> fault. Really. <laughs> it's my fault. But man, it was a great time. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's a great scene. Uh, Wesley Snipes is doing this like really over the top character, but it's just really fun and works. Oh, come on, John. <laughs> uh, it kind of reminds me of like a little bit of Benny from uh, Total Recall. Yeah, oh, yeah. Come on, John. I got yeah, five yeah. kids to feed. <laughs> <laughs> five. It's, it's, it's kind of similar to that, <laughs> the way he's playing it. Yeah, I would, I would, I admit that there are some moments in the movie he's like too over the top or comes off as kind of like cringe. But um, I think for the most part, I think uh, he does a really good job at being a fucking weird psycho. And this, he's got something like contacts in or something. Does he have one different? Yeah, one eye? blue, one like yellow or <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, fucking, for no, he just came up with that. On, <laughs> I want, I want different colored eyes, man. I want something, something wacky. <laughs> and he's like got the dyed hair before Cisco and shit. Um. Yeah, then we kind of go into some more of uh, uh, John learning about the future and how this guy is like in charge, and he doesn't quite like him. He seems a bit off. And uh, to go go into the the mayor <laughs> mayor's meeting at Taco Bell. That's a great part. And John's like Taco Bell. It's like yes, Taco Bell. Not exactly, you know, fine dining because they're all she's got, like, <laughs> she's got like a red cocktail dress on, and he's got like this yeah. weird tuxedo thing. Uncle Bill, oh, yes, uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, the, the fast food wars of the 20th century, Taco Bell is the only restaurant, uh, all other restaurants are outlawed. <laughs> it's like something like that. And uh, they get there, and there's another funny thing like they bring him his portion, it's like this like little tiny thing on the plate. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Little appetizers, and then, and then anyways, uh, Edgar Friendly kind of busts in, gives a speech about you rich bastards, and starts stealing food, right? And then uh, John kind of kicks some of their asses, and then by the end, the Anna Huxley is like, "Oh, that was great! You really kicked their butts." He's like, "It's not great. Look at what happened. These guys were just hungry. Yeah, just looking for food. Yeah." What do you want a sandwich? And I go suck them in the grill. Because <laughs> <laughs> he didn't kind of know what kind of what these people were about. <clears throat> and I think they go down there at one point and uh, meet him, right? Yeah. So yeah, before the Taco Bell, like Simon escapes the museum and he has the mayor at gunpoint, and then you kind of find out that like the mayor is behind. Oh yeah. Some of the mind control shit with Simon because he's like, don't you have yeah. someone to kill? And so he doesn't shoot him, yada, yada, yada. And then, and then yeah. you know, Spartan shows up and then the mayor is like, oh, you know, thank you for saving my life. Let's go to Taco Bell. But um, we find out that the person that be? Simon, yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, they find out that the person that Simon is ordered to kill from the mayor is Dennis Leary's character. Um, and so I think they find that out somehow and they, they go down underground to like, talk to them and then while that happens simon and his crew so there's like another action scene in the there's a lot there's some fun stuff there with the fucking rat burger and yeah yeah i love that a burger hell yeah i'll have a burger because <laughs> there's <laughs> like the normal food yeah that's pretty good yeah you'd be amazed what they could do with the rats down here rats yeah rat you see any cows around here <laughs> rat. <laughs> a rata <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> <He's just kidding. laughs> that's pretty good uh isn't it uh who's the like mexican kind of cop this isn't it's not lou diamond phillips is oh it? it's uh uh benjamin bratt yeah yeah he's kind of down there he was down there with him right yeah he was, he was down one there, that's yeah. like no i don't want a burger <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> like no he knows 
Because he gets like beat uh, up yeah. at one point during that fight, and then he just stays down there and doesn't come back. And he, <laughs> next time you see oh, him, yeah. he's all he's fucking like... decked out and dirty. Looking like fucking Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> 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 fucking <clears throat> the movie. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then it kind of what is it? Fuck. Culminates in this big, the big kind of shootout. And, and another thing is really cool. Like, there's some cool world building. It looks really cool. The future. I, they got a bunch of like uh, prototype cars from GM to be these future cars that are really cool looking at the time. They're still pretty cool. And with like the foam when they wrecked, fills <laughs> up foam. And uh, but yeah, the the end set piece. <clears throat> I don't remember. Like what building they're in, and what you're doing? Like the yeah. cryo, the cryo fight. You're talking about the showdown in oh, the cryo chamber. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I thought it was, yeah, because it's all chrome and they got all the fucking crazy machineries and sparks for no reason going. Yeah. <laughs> and the fucking the uh, what are the the arm and the 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 machines that get the toy? They grab uh, him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like controlling it. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this thing smarts. I'm gonna put your ass on ice, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so they got this big fight at the end, and oh yeah, I don't remember. It's a, it's a Terminator ending, isn't it? <clears throat> he fucking somehow yeah, freezes him, hits him with the the blue fucking sphere thing. Oh, I think the floor. This the, the floor gets the goo. Yeah, the floor is wet. Mm -hmm. We're gonna drop electricity on it and shock you, but this time the floor is goo. We're gonna mm -hmm. drop the bomb. Ooh, freezes him, and I think he, he's like, isn't he like swinging on the fucking arm? Yeah, he jumps on the <laughs> as it's like swinging around. He jumps on it and waits till it fucking circles back Does around. Does he kick him? And kicks him right in the head, and only the head oh, yeah, pops he out. Yeah, he doesn't shoot him. He kicks him. <laughs> And Simon, <laughs> get some. <laughs> Double mule kicks his head off, and then of course it hits the ground and just shatters. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's the end. Oh yeah, there's a. I wanted to mention that the sex scene is pretty good. Would you like to have sex? Yeah, I'd love to have sex. <laughs> you, you, you kidding me? I've been waiting this whole time for you to say something about it. Eh? Oh. And then he gets to her house. He's like, starts taking his shirt off or something. She's like, no, sit down. What are you doing? Okay. She brings over the like headset VR thing, and he's got one. And it's like, he's <laughs> showing like lips. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Skin. And it's like, so weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, <"Whoa." clears throat> and then uh, he's like, what the hell? Takes it off. He's like, what's wrong? Was it not good? I didn't even touch you. You know, I thought we just, you know, what can we do the old school? I thought we were going to bump uglies. <laughs> <She's> like, <"Ugh." laughs> he's like, ugh. He's like, ugh. Fluid transfer. Swap fluid? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, super funny, man. And then, uh, yeah, so the ending. Uh, I think he he ends up just living in the future with her, right? I think there's some cheesy kiss at the end or something. Yeah, which is funny because at the at in the middle of the movie or something, he talks about his daughter and he's like, "Oh, I wonder, like, my how is my daughter in this? I don't, I don't want to visit her." And like when I saw, it's been a while since so I've seen this, right? And I was like, "Oh, is Sandra Bullock? Is that the twist at the end? I don't remember." And then when they kiss at the end, I'm like, "Oh wait, I guess not. I guess the daughter just is just a throwaway <laughs> thing, but." It's like it's setting it up yeah. for Sandra Bullock being the daughter, but uh, does not end up being the case unless it's like a fucking Luke Leia situation. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, they were supposed to have a sequel at one time, didn't work out. Uh, one of my uh, one of my favorite lines of the movie, or I guess another little like fun gag, is that he goes back after the the sex thing doesn't work out. He goes back to his room. And he's kind of like going over security footage. This is where he finds out about the mayor and Simon thing. Anyways, he has like this care box, this care package box on his, his coffee table. And he opens it. And there's like a ball of yarn. And he starts kind of fucking with it. And oh, then the next yeah. day, he has like a sweater for her, which there's no fucking way. But what's funny <laughs> is that when they get in the car, she's like, she's telling him like, oh, you know, you bringing you back. We give you these, we implant these yeah. you know, things to help you get back to society. It's like these calming things. And. We gave you like um, sewing, 
and uh, yeah. he's like, oh, what the fuck? Well, this isn't right. You gave him m- m- martial arts, yeah, martial- <laughs> gun training. I come out and I could fucking knit a sweater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one of my favorite lines is later on in the movie, that comes back in a really funny line, but he gets into a car wreck and the car f- like fills up with foam and uh, he breaks out and she's like, Spartan, you're injured. And he has like this big cut. And he's like, yeah, that's right. Give me a needle and some yarn. It'll be fixed right. And he's like, did I just say that? I, I thought that was a funny ass line. How it brings it back. Give me a needle and some yarn and I'll fix it up real quick. Yeah. So in conclusion, uh, I don't know, man. It's just fun. I like it. I don't know if it's from the history I have with it, but this is one of those ones in the 90s. I could just go back and watch a lot. It's one of those ones where it's overly violent and crass for what you think it might be for the Mm -hmm. sci-fi, like, you know, teenager movie almost is what it seems like. It's kind of pushed as, um, like most things in the nineties, like Robocop had toys. It's rated R. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, but it's just super fun, man. I like a lot about it. It looks cool. It's fun. It breezes by pretty quick. It's just a good 90s sci-fi action uh, muscle man movie. Uh, It's great that they had Wesley Snipes and, you know, not just some person. Yeah. That they actually got a a double billing for this one. Because Sly is usually kind of like his bad guys aren't some huge guy you'd know about. <clears throat> and uh yeah it's great i love it i think it's it's like a eight eight four for me nice great movie <clears throat> yeah i uh echo some of the stuff you've said uh it's it's really fun i mean the the draw of this movie these two fucking icons going head to head and the characters are so fucking great um you know, Simon Phoenix, John Spartan going head to head. I mean, it's just, it's a fun, fun, cheesy 90s action movie. That's all I can say. And uh, yeah, I grew up on this movie. I think I, I remember seeing this in theaters. I was, I was like seven or eight. Um, and I loved it then. And uh, I don't know if, you know, here's my, I've always had a weird thing with Demolition Man. Like, it's not really my go to like 90s movie. I think it's like definitely up there with some of the best, but. I've always had a problem with this movie in that I like, I really like the first half of the movie. But I feel like this movie eventually gets bogged down in the subplot with the Dennis Larry and the mayor. And like, I think this movie works best when it's just Spartan versus Phoenix. That's where the movie, like, that's what the movie should have been. But then, it, I don't know, it just kind of si- like sidewinds into this underground people thing. The mayor has the plot. I'm just like, you could have got rid of all that and just had like, uh, you know, a, ra- a rampant psycho Joker esque killer and the guy trying to stop him. You probably could have cut out 15 minutes of this movie and I think it probably would have been better um so yeah about around the halfway mark i i'm just kind of like eh, i don't really this doesn't really resonate with me like i don't know it just feels like this movie wanted to say some stuff which is fine like i i don't i don't disagree with anything that that the movie's trying to say about the have and have nots but it's just kind of shoot in in a way i don't know in this action movie but despite that i think it's really fun sandra bullock is great um the i mean the action's fine it's it's fine i mean again it's not really about the action it's about these characters going toe to toe um i love all the sci-fi stuff some of the stuff you know that they predicted was kind of fun like the auto driving cars that we are, we have now um i don't know just the, the the world that they live in is a pretty well fleshed out world that it's really funny to put these characters into that situation a lot of good gags um yeah overall it's fun um coming in today with 7.7 Seven point seven. Eight point four. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Um yeah, go check it out. Uh see what you think. If you've never seen it before, it's a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, so, totally. Yeah, a, like if you've never seen this before, I would love to be able to see this for the first time now. But I can't. I can only see it for the hundredth yeah. time. I want to go back and watch <laughs> Time Cop. I haven't seen that in fucking decades. Oh man, I got to see Van Damme in time. It's been a really long time. Dude, Time Cop is good, dude. Yeah, I love Time Cop. There was another one. Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking we should review at when we picked this one. 
Oh yeah, it just came to my mind. Frailty. Oh yeah, I yeah. Um, came to my mind. I, Bill Paxton, right? And that, Ma- uh, if Mac- I, <clears throat> yeah, if I remember correctly, that was pretty cool. Twisty. Kind yeah. Of movie. Anyways, yeah. Uh, eight point four. Would you say seven point what? Seven. Seven point seven. Yeah, seven so, seven. <clears throat> so we're pretty close. Pretty. Pretty good, pretty good, man. Go check it out. And as always, uh, please check us out on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, um, and always here on YouTube. We appreciate your 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 watchage, your followage, your patronage. Um, thanks. It makes it all makes the dream work. Uh, so until the next piece, we we'll tell you peace. Peace. <laughs>